Hey guys, with Christmas right around the corner, there's a chance you may end up getting a Raspberry Pi 3 or maybe even a Raspberry Pi 4. And you may wonder, well, what can I do with this or what should I do with this? So what I wanna do is actually make a few videos showing some different things that you can do with a Raspberry Pi. And in this video, the first hopefully in this series, is I'm gonna show you how to install Minecraft on a Raspberry Pi 3 or 4. So without too much more introduction here, let's jump over to my Raspberry Pi 4 and get Minecraft installed. Okay guys, so here we are on a Raspberry Pi 4 desktop and uh, this is a clean install. I haven't done anything with this other than uh, running all of the updates and upgrades here to uh, make sure that uh, this will go as smoothly and quickly as possible. Uh, always make sure that you run all of these updates. Uh, go ahead and run the updates and the upgrades uh, just to make sure you're, you're caught up and everything is ready to go before you start this. The next thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is actually uh, go into uh, the, the Raspberry Pi preferences and the configuration and set the GPU memory to at least 64 megabytes. Now, if you've got a one gig uh, Raspberry Pi 3 or 4, probably stick with 64. If you've got a two gig or a four gig though, you can probably bump this up to about 128. So what we'll do is we'll go right up here and we'll click on uh, preferences, go over here to preferences, and then we'll go to configuration and then we'll go over here to performance. Now, by default, my GPU is set to 76 megabytes. Uh, again, I've got a four gig uh, Raspberry Pi 4 here, so I'm actually gonna set that to 128. Again, if you've only got one gig, leave this at 64. Uh, so we'll go ahead and click OK here. And then it's gonna um, make me reboot because I made a change uh, to the configuration. So we'll go ahead and click yes. Okay, so now we're back on the desktop and we can move on to step three here. <clears throat> and that's going to be enabling the GL driver from a terminal window. So we'll go ahead and we'll copy uh, this little bit of uh, script here and we'll open a terminal. We'll go ahead and right click and click paste. And we'll go down to advanced options and click enter. And then we'll go down here to uh, A8 where it says GL driver. And we're gonna set this to the fake KMS OpenGL driver here. So go ahead and click OK and OK. And we'll go down to where it says uh, finish. Um, and then we're gonna have to reboot yet again. So we'll go ahead and click yes. Okay, so now that we're back on the desktop, we can actually move on to step four. And that's going to be uh, downloading and setting up are downloading and running the setup MC1 script and installing Oracle Java 8. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna copy this. And again, all of this will be linked in the description down below. So you don't have to try to figure out what's going on here. You can just copy this uh, from the link in the description. So go ahead and click paste. Oh, there it goes, Never mind. Uh, and we'll just let it run. And this may take a few minutes. So we'll go ahead and let this run and we will come back when it's done. Okay, so now that that's done, we can actually move on to step five. And that's actually gonna to be uh, to run the launcher that we just installed. So we're gonna go ahead and copy that. We'll come back over to here and we'll click paste. Awesome, so now we can go ahead and log in. So I'm gonna do that. And then for the profile, we're actually gonna change the profile to go to version 1.12.2. So um, we're gonna edit profile. And then right here, we will select 1.12.2 and we'll save. And then we'll click play. Basically, we just, we wanted that to fail. So now that it has failed, we can go ahead and close the launcher here. And then we'll run the next script in step six. And we'll click paste. And then we'll click install. Great, so that file has been uh, successfully installed. So we'll click okay. And now we'll go ahead and run this again for step seven and we'll click paste. Okay, so now we wanna make sure that we're on the opt-in profile. So we'll go ahead and click on play. 
Okay, so now we can go ahead and close this again. Now we're gonna run the setup MC2 script here. Paste. Okay, so we're gonna need to edit a file here. So what I'm gonna do is actually do a, a sudo install, oops. Apt install leaf pad. Now that we have leaf pad installed, we'll go ahead and we're going to uh, paste step nine into here. All right, so um, now what you're gonna wanna do is put in your username, or in this case, uh, your, I'm gonna use my email address for both of these, and then put in your Minecraft password here. And then we will save that. So, okay, so we'll go ahead and save that. I just pressed Control S on my keyboard there. So we'll close that. And then, <clears throat> Okay, so we're already in the Minecraft folder there. That's good. Uh, you can tell that we're right here where it says uh, tilde slash Minecraft. That tells us that we're in the Minecraft folder. And then we can click paste. And if all goes well, Minecraft should start up for us. Okay, so this looks good. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click single player. I'm going to uh, create a new world I'm gonna call this uh, DB Tech World. Um, and I'm going to, oh, say create new world. And it's gonna load. We'll give this just a couple of minutes as necessary uh, to get everything to load up here. And you can actually see in the background over here, we've got um, uh, a percentage uh, tracker here, so we know how far in it has loaded. So this will take just a little while longer, but we're already up to 40%. So we'll give it a little while and then we should be good to go. Okay, so everything's loading in here, that's good. And initially it will run a little slow while things are doing, while, while things are still loading in there. But <clears throat> uh, after a, a couple of minutes here maybe, all right, and there we go. There is Minecraft running on a Raspberry Pi 4. Okay guys, so there you go. There's installing uh, Minecraft on a Raspberry Pi. Now keep in mind, I did use a Raspberry Pi 4 Max that's got four gigs of RAM. So I was able to turn some of those settings up a little bit more than you would be able to if you had say a Raspberry Pi three or four that has maybe one gig, or you could probably turn the stuff, the, the settings up with a two gig as well. But with a one gig, you'll probably wanna keep those settings fairly low uh, just to make sure you don't run out of memory to quickly. So uh, hopefully you found the video helpful. You were able to follow along and get Minecraft installed on your Raspberry Pi. If you were able to follow along, you found the video helpful, uh, do me a favor. It would mean a lot to me if you give the video a thumbs up. It would help me out a bunch. Also, if you're interested in more videos about some different things you can do with a Raspberry Pi, be sure to get subscribed. Again, I've got several more videos coming out with some different projects for Raspberry Pis. So uh, I think with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up here. As always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support, and I'll talk to you in the next video.